in the channel, guys. Good evening. It's 10 o'clock. 10 o'clock on the button, which means I'm getting a bit of a thirsty melt in me. Yeah. Give a bit. <laughs> Episode Give. number eight. Number eight. It's a special one today. We're going to combine some. We've cups. got some wonderful stuff from your homeland. From my homeland and, and from this Canada. homeland. Canada. Yeah. yeah. So, with Gear of Beer today, we are going to introduce a very special guitar that was designed by one of our friends at Guitar Works. Guitar Works Premium on 16th Ave, Mr. Mr. Reed, Shim Reed Shimazawa, the legend. The legend that be, and here's a nice picture of him right here. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna do the click finger thing today. So one, two, three. Whoa, whoa, go catch that. Here it is. Go catch. <laughs> Look at this thing, it's a crazy Les Paul. Yeah. Uh, we've got one pickup, you know, we've got a kill switch, single knob. Yeah. Who needs any more than one knob, Stephen? Not me. I'm pretty good with one knob. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, this is actually the Prestige uh, Troubadour or S model, or was Reed called it the Reed Chim as our model. Yeah, Reed designed this yeah. with the people at Prestige. Yeah. I believe they're a Vancouver company, is that correct? Indeed, yeah. Yeah. It's beautiful, like, I mean, Reed from. Double the... bound, look at this thing, you know. Yeah. It's very cool. Ebony board. Ebony board. Uh, mahogany, maple cap. Mahogany maple cap. Just what you'd expect, I From suppose. That Gibson style, as we like. Yeah, man. But again, yeah, it's a very straight to the point rock, rocking guitar. So we'll talk more about the guitar, but I'm thirsty, Stevie. Yeah, me too. Again, it is 10 o'clock and I haven't had a drink all day. Stevie was on the beer detail today. I was on the beer detail and I figured I'd bring something from the homeland. So uh, here it is right here. Wow. Guinness. Now, there's a lot of uh, people out there that would actually drink this from the can. Dear me, I'm that, not one of them. No, I mean, this, this is supposed to be poured properly. And uh, a lot of people back home, if you drink this from the can, they actually call it knacker drinking. Let's have an education, Stevie. Come on, pour me a beer. Yeah, so... <laughs> I want to get it on the car, but... <laughs> Steve, you already got into the carpet once. <laughs> yeah. I killed him. Yeah. It's new carpet. <laughs> <laughs> so, to pour Guinness back from the home country, and I used to be a barman. I don't know if any of you know that, but I used to be a barman. And how you actually pour Guinness is you're actually supposed to pour three quarter of the way up the glass. See, we're getting you more of a beer segment today. Which is quite yes. delightful. Yes. And I could be pouring this absolutely shite, but. If you ask, Steve, I'm going to be absolutely <laughs> disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he'll get over it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh, it smells delightful. <laughs> yeah, so the idea of it is pour three quarters of the way up the glass. Now, this isn't a Guinness glass. This is a Coors Light glass. <laughs> but it's frosted. Is that a faux pas? <laughs> it can be, yeah. But um, you're supposed to leave it three quarters of the way, give it about two, three minutes, let it settle, and then finish it off, and then you get a Perfectly poured point. Okay, here's one that we made earlier. Yeah. Okay, now that they're settled. All you have to do next is finish it to the top. Sam, would you care to join me in finishing oh, it to the top? Got all that creamy goodness over there. That's what I said to her last night. <laughs> <laughs> Janelle's going to kill you. <laughs> and there you have it. That can be a perfectly poured pint of Guinness. I've been looking forward to this all day long. Yeah, I phoned them today saying I'm bringing Guinness over. <laughs> Right then, so check out some tones in the Yamaha THR on the brown one patch. Keeping uh, it consistent. Keeping it nice and consistent. Uh, flat EQ. Yeah. No ball. <laughs> Thanks, Reed, for designing a no ball yeah, guitar. This is a no ball guitar. <laughs> one pickup, one knob, one kill switch. Kill switch. So here's some tones. <laughs> Thank you. 
video, I got a special request from Mr. Shimazawa himself not to play Nickelback. So, we're going to play all of the Nickelback riffs that I can think of. Because <laughs> Sam can't play them. <laughs> and just to give you some history, here's the boys right here. It's a Nickelback special. It's a Nickelback special, Samuel. We're Guinness. <laughs> <laughs> We've got a ebony fingerboard, we've got a maple cap. Yeah, and we also have the custom 78 Seymour Duncan pickup in the bridge with a single volume tone control. Uh, and volume control, sorry, my bad. Yeah, volume control. And a kill switch, which is quite delightful. And I love this bridge, you know, I, I love the look of a wraparound. <laughs> oh, hello. I like a wraparound. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, a lot of them aren't intonatable, which is a pain in the ass. And yeah. this one is. It's so completely the intonatable. Best of yeah. both worlds. Yeah. I love the shallow brake angle here. You know, I wouldn't be too scared of taking this on a flight. It's got a small volute here as well. Yeah, that was a very fancy word, volute. <laughs> volute. <laughs> That's not my <laughs> vocabulary. Uh, love these tuners with yeah. the open, open backs. Open backs. Yeah. Very classy. Double bound like a Gibson Les Paul Custom. Yeah, all matte finish as well. So it's a matte black top, but also it's got a, a very light stain on the back too, yeah. which is quite nice. The neck feels incredible. This is just like what every neck should feel like. It's like very satin, but so smooth. Yeah, and it's also a C-shaped neck as well, which is quite delightful. Um, it's a 14 inch radius neck. Do you like the 14 inch? I like 14 inch. <laughs> God, we're very filthy tonight, aren't we? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah, this is a quality guitar. Yeah. And Reed Shimazawa, that's probably the best rock guitar player in Calgary. Yeah. Uh, had a lot of success with a band called Zucker Baby. Yeah. And... He is actually a prestige recording artist, or yeah. a artist that... Basically, the history behind this guitar is that Reed um, is a prestige artist, as I just said. But he had a limited run of these guitars where I think they only made like a handful of them. And there's been so much demand for these guitars. Anytime Reed or Prestige put these guitars up on the website for any reason, people go nuts for this guitar. Yeah, so, so as of this week, congratulations, Reed. Yeah, um, cheers, man. They've now put this guitar into production, which I believe, and um, quote me if I'm wrong, Reed, on this one, but uh, it's around a thousand dollars from what I heard. And it comes with the option of a Pegasus bridge pickup or the Custom 78, whatever way I you want to do it. I think it's more money for the Pegasus. I would imagine so. I think it's like a, a, a different price point. Yeah. But, but this man right, right here, yeah, really this beautiful guitar, person. Lovely guy, fantastic guitar player, yeah. and proud to call him a friend. Yeah, he's a really good friend of all of ours and a really good fan of the show. And when I seen that he put this guitar up on the production line, I was like... <laughs> We had to have it on the show. But again, full on rock guitar, noble, as we say. There you go, rock and roll. Big capitals, noble. Yeah. I'll, I'll drink to noble. I'll drink to that too, my friend. Cheers, my friend. Oh, look at the colour scheme, man. Huh? It matches. <laughs>
Like this is a pretty much straightforward rock and roll machine. Yeah. Reed, our good friend here. He's a, he's a beautiful person, <laughs> isn't he? <laughs> what a lovely looking fella. He's fucking just <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, he basically designed this guitar with prestige to pretty much be noble. Yeah. And this is the key word of this video, noble. It's light. Yeah. You know, you've got a wonderful pickup here. Love the bridge, love the single knob. Yeah. Uh, yeah, man. I mean, some Les Paul guys might be like missing the neck pickup, neck pickup, and the and the tone knob. But on the new production line, from what we've been noticing, is uh, it actually does come with a tone control, but no neck pickup. But you can again, you can custom order this custom seventy eight Seymour Duncan or the Pegasus pickup, which is quite nice. Um, also, is it, is it creamy sounding? It's creamy. Yeah, I say creamy all the time. <laughs> it's as creamy as McGuinness. Yeah, baby. <laughs> so there you go, pros and cons. Episode 8, it's a wrap, Steve. There we are. Good job. So please share this video with the Dalai Lama. The Dalai no. Lama. Um, Liam Gallagher. You know. Because he's such a nice guy. Oh, splendid. <laughs> Lovely gentleman. Uh, please share this video with your second cousin. Please share it with your butler. And 
You and your hamster. Yeah, I was about to say hamster. Were you saying his hamster? <laughs> anyway. <laughs> but we do have um, an Instagram page, a Facebook page. Comment, share, hit like thumbs the thumbs up. Like video subscribe. Like it, tell all your friends because we want to make this as popular as we can. Uh, we seem to be getting a lot of good feedback, so by all means, I'll drink to that. Cheers, man. Cheers. See you next week.